Superfood Evolution presents Licorice Root Benefits in Western Herbalism plus info about glycyrrhizin and when not to use licorice. Licorice root has been one of the most widely used herbs in many herbal traditions of the world because of its concentrated triterpenoid saponins and other health-promoting constituents. All species come from the genus Glycyrrhiza and are members of the legume or pea family. The word Glycyrrhiza is derived from the Greek word Glycyrrhiza, meaning sweet root. While the appearance of the root looks like an ordinary wood-like stick or branch you might find on a forest floor, when you chew on a piece there is a distinctly sweet taste. It is not edible in this woody state, however, but is used in herbal preparations as a tea or supplement. Most people either love the thick, earthy sweet flavor of licorice root, or they don't. Sometimes though, this can depend on the quantity used with other herbs. It typically only takes a small amount to provide benefits as well as a very sweet quality. The Glycyrrhiza glabra species produces long, slender sticks with a yellow, fibrous center and is sold whole in sliced strips and pieces or as a powder. Glycyrrhiza urolensis, also known as Chinese licorice, is usually derived from larger roots that are commonly found sliced for use in tea decoctions. It is said to possess similar as well as different compounds and frequently believed to have a more calming, relaxing effect by comparison. Cultivated in Europe since the 16th century, it is also spelled licorice, which is the British spelling. Many people associate the term licorice with the black licorice confection or candy that utilizes a combination of licorice extract, molasses, and anise oil to produce its characteristic licorice-like flavor. Licorice root and black licorice are not synonyms, however. Black licorice candy does not contain whole licorice and its naturally occurring components, but is usually composed of an isolated, root-derived substance known as glycyrrhizin. Licorice root contains the aromatic compound anethol, which is also the main aromatic flavoring present in both fennel and anise seed, and there is no coincidence that it likewise goes well with these two herbs. Further in this video, we will discuss the traditional uses of licorice root in Western herbalism. But first, what is glycyrrhizin and some of the potential side effects it is often claimed to have. What is glycyrrhizin and licorice root extract? Glycyrrhizin, also called glycyrrhizic or glyceratinic acid, is a triterpenoid saponin and the main sweet tasting component found in licorice root. It is described to be about 30 to 50 times sweeter than sugar and is known to be one of the constituents responsible for many of its nutraceutical properties. Interestingly, saponins like glycyrrhizin are likewise viewed as the main health-promoting compounds in many herbal adaptogens such as ginseng, gynostemma, and astragalus. Glycyrrhizin is absorbed as glyceratinic acid in the intestines and its sweetness is a bit different than sugar as it is slowly digested and can also have a sweet aftertaste. Many commercial products like licorice candy contain the dark yellowish brown colored ingredient referred to as licorice extract. This is basically glycyrrhizin extract which is made by boiling licorice root down to condense these sugars. It is purified by filtration and an acid and ethyl alcohol treatment producing an isolated glycyrrhizic acid molecule and two glucuronic acid molecules. It is sold as a liquid, spray-dried powder, or paste. These extracts are utilized in a wide variety of food and beverages as a flavor enhancer. They are also used industrially as a foaming agent, a feature that is common with saponins and also sometimes evident when pouring tea, which can produce a soap-like foam. But to differentiate from licorice extract, herbal licorice supplements in the form of tinctures, tablets, or capsules are made from the whole root and not derived from isolated compounds. Glycyrrhizin and licorice side effects when not to use. Although small quantities of glycyrrhizin can be beneficial to one's health, consuming high amounts is known to affect mineralocorticoid activity 
which can create an excess and throw off potassium salt ratios by decreasing potassium levels. This side effect can potentially trigger high blood pressure, abnormal heart rhythms, nervousness, edema, and fatigue. In past research, it was found in one instance that daily consumption of licorice root tea containing up to 190 milligrams of glycyrrhizin for an extended period of time can cause hypertension. However, it was approximated that most licorice root tea brands can be expected to contain much less at an average of 31.5 milligrams of glycyrrhizin per cup or 250 milliliters. While it is possible for licorice root as an herbal substance and tea to have this effect on some individuals, commercial licorice extracts as a food or beverage additive are especially concentrated sources of glycyrrhizin and are more easily consumed in excess. For example, consuming 50 grams or more of black licorice candy containing licorice extract for a two-week period was identified to have adverse reactions. It is advised to not overconsume black licorice candy for those with cardiovascular issues. For individuals with hypertension or related conditions who wish to use licorice root, deglycyrrhizinated licorice or DGL is available as an herbal supplement alternative which has the glycyrrhizin component removed. Otherwise, small amounts of licorice root in its natural form are not contraindicated for healthy adults and its benefits can be an especially useful herb to have in your herb pantry. Licorice root benefits in traditional Western herbalism. The root of the Glycyrrhiza glabra species has long been used for its exceptionally sweet quality that is customarily boiled in water as a tea or used in herbal formulations. Many herbalists and early healers, in fact, consider it an essential item to have in one's Materia Medica, an herbal apothecary. In what is commonly referred to as Western herbalism or the combined traditions of both Europe and the Americas, licorice root has long been used for its support to healthy digestion and respiratory function. It promotes a calming influence on stomach upset with a mild laxative effect on the bowels as well as acts as an expectorant to facilitate the loosening and coughing up of mucus from the respiratory tract. It is also well known for its ability to lubricate a sore throat. These actions are in part due to the root's demulcent qualities when infused or simmered in water. Its soothing anti-inflammatory attributes have been used as an herbal folk therapy for conditions like gastric ulcers. While straight licorice tea can provide a health-enhancing influence, frequently licorice root is not typically used by itself. This is because it is considered a fortifying, supportive herb, as it synergistically blends very well with other herbs, helping to harmonize the herbal formulation, ultimately making it potentially more effective. The addition of licorice root into tea recipes also simultaneously helps to improve the flavor of many herbs, especially those of a bitter nature. Two isoflavonoid compounds specific to licorice root are glabridin and glabrine. They have been shown in research to possess estrogenic-like activity, which coincides with the herb's traditional use for women going through menopause. Also, one of the most popular uses for licorice root in its natural form is as an adrenal tonic. The main sweet compound glycyrrhizin, or glyceratinic acid, because of its mineralocortoid actions when metabolized, is believed to support normal cortisol levels and a balanced response to stress. It is known to be helpful for adrenal exhaustion as well as adrenal-related menopausal symptoms. For more information on licorice and its use in Ayurveda and Chinese herbalism, please visit the card above or the link below this video. How to use Dried licorice root comes in the form of whole or sliced sticks, root pieces, and finely ground powders. Dried roots or pieces can be infused or decocted, simmered, for about 10 minutes to make licorice tea. Likewise, the powders can be added directly to hot water. Powdered licorice root can also be used periodically as a type of sweetener in many beverages. Licorice naturally goes well with peppermint, tulsi, fennel, anise, and many spices like cinnamon, ginger, clove, and cardamom. 
We use it with some of these spices in our elderberry syrup recipe. It is best to use licorice in small amounts, as a little goes a long way as far as sweetness. For the dried root pieces, try 1 half to 1 teaspoon per cup of hot water, or 1 eighth to 1 quarter teaspoon of the dried powder. Licorice powder can also be kept on hand for adding sweetness when preparing foods like soups, sauces, gravies, and can be blended in moderation with other sweeteners in dessert recipes. Precautions Licorice roots should be avoided if pregnant, nursing, or if you have hypertension. Always consult your healthcare professional before using licorice herb or supplements if you have a medical condition or are taking any prescribed or over-the-counter medications. A special thanks to Mountain Rose Herbs for their high quality organic licorice root products and for sponsoring this video. The opinions expressed here, however, are completely our own. Thanks for watching! For additional in depth info, as well as the best sources of licorice products we know of, be sure and investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and be sure and check out these other informational videos.